नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एरर क्लासिफिकेशंस सिस्टमेटिक फिक्स्ड और बायस एरर इंसिडेंस इन नेचर एग्जिस्ट एंड नोटिस टाइमलेस डिलीवरेटली सर्च्ड रिपीटेड रीडिंग्स टू बी इन एरर बाय रफली द सेम अमाउंट नॉट सस्केप्टिबल टू स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस कैलिब्रेशन एरर्स सर्टेन consistently recurring human error technique error and corrected loading error and limitations of system resolution next precision or random errors distinguished by their lack of consistency usually not always follow a certain statistical distribution in many instances very difficult to distinguish from bias errors error stemming from environmental variations certain type of human error and error resulting from variations in definition illegitimate errors illegitimate errors should be not exist can be eliminated through the exercise of care and repetition of the measurement blunders and mistakes computational errors chaotic errors an error is a deviation between the actual value of the measurement and the indicated value proposed by the sensor or instrumentation used to measure the value error is not the same as mistakes simplified error estimation our next term consider the calculation of electrical power power p is equal to ei where e is equal to 100 volt plus minus 5 volt and i is equal to 10 ampere plus minus 0.1 ampere so the nominal value of power is 100 multiplied 10 is equal to 1000 watt and p max is equal to 100 plus 5 multiplied 10 plus 0.1 that means 160.5 watt and p mean is equal to 100 minus 5 multiplied 10 minus 0.1 is equal to 940.5 watt so the uncertainty in the power is 6.05% or minus 5.95%. It is quite unlikely that the power would be in error by this amount. Hence, comprehensive uncertainty analysis is required. Uncertainty analysis Uncertainty is based on a careful specification of the uncertainties in the various primary experimental measurements. If the result r is equal to r of x1 x2 to xn is a given function of independent variables like x1 x2 to xn and w1 to w2 to wn add the associated uncertainties then uncertainty of the result wr is given by wr is equal to root over del r by del x1 w1 whole square plus del r by del x2 wr w2 whole square plus dot 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 and the last one is del r by del x n w n whole square uncertainty in power estimation consider the calculation of electrical power p is equal to ei where e is equal to 100 volt plus minus 5 volt and i is equal to 10 ampere plus minus 0.1 ampere you can write del v by del e is equal to i is equal to 10 ampere Where W E is equal to five volt, and D L P by D L I is equal to E. That means hundred volt. Where W one W I is equal to zero point one ampere. We can write W P is equal to root over ten multiply five whole square plus hundred multiply zero point one whole square. That means root over two thousand five hundred plus one hundred. That means fifty one watt, or you can say five point one percent. so very little is gained by trying to reduce the small uncertainties any improvement in result should be achieved by improving the instrumentation or technique connected with the relatively large uncertainties next topic significant figures or digits significant figures in a number are those that are known with uncertainty A measured value represented by n digits consists of n minus one significant digits that are certain and one digit that is estimated. This problem is known as last digit bubble. 
the number of significant figures is not improved by combining the numbers with other numbers. Like example, 15.65 multiply 0.025 means not significant. Because the nominal value is 15.65 multiply 0.025. That means 0.39125. You can see here 15.65 has 3 and 0.025 has 1 significant digits. So the results should be 0.4 rather than 0.39. But 15.64 multiply 0.024 is equal to 0.37536 and 15.66 multiply 0.026 is equal to 0.40716. The counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are always significant. 0 is significant only if it is used to indicate exactly zero or a truly null case. Zero is not significant if it is used merely as a placeholder to make the number look nicer. Remember, 15 meter means a value between 14 and 16 meter. And 16.0 meter means the real value between 15.9 and 16.1 meter, not between 15 and 17. I hope you have the declaration of this. Again, I say this. If there is 15 meter, that means the value between 14 and 16. And if there is 16.0 meter, that means the real value between 15.9 and 16.1. When multiplying and dividing numbers, round off the more accurate numbers to one more significant figure than the least significant number. Compute and round up the result to the same number of significant figures as in the least accurate number. Like this, 1.2 multiply 6.335 multiply 0 0.0072 divided by 3.14159. But if you do this, 1.2 multiply 6.34 multiply 0.0072 divided by 3.14 then the results are 0.0174 in the first case and in the second case the result is 0.017 so the second one is the more accurate number that's why when multiplying and dividing numbers you have to choose the round off so round off the more accurate numbers to one more significant figure than the least significant number so, you have to compute and round up the result to the same number of significant figures as in the least accurate number. I hope you have the proper declaration of this term. So, that's the ending of this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching this.